Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Bloodborne, the Old Hunters DLC. So here is the... Okay, maybe... Oh, fuck. Oh, Alright. Is this the boss area? No, this can't be the boss area. No, I think the boss area is to the top. Anyway, so yeah, welcome back. This is where the balcony key took me. Um, I figured the big door meant the boss, and I should come down here first. But now I'm starting to think I was wrong. Because this is where the lumen flower boss was. Yeah. This definitely was. So maybe the boss is down here as well. Because I'm really starting to wonder where I'm supposed to go. Like, where would this take me? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Shit. Um. Okay. So maybe I take my oh no he sees me so do I have any Molotov cocktails? Can't reach him though. Try over here. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're going to do some sneak action here. We're going to bust open the blue elixir. Come on. And we're going to do it this way. There's going to be quite a number. Oh, shit. Be very gentle. Of course, there's more. We're going to do it again. Because these guys are pretty difficult in numbers. Alright. I'm hoping that's all of them. Nope. That is. That is all of them. All right. Okay. So let's find out what to do. Black Sky Eye would be probably in here, I'm assuming. You can't assume anything anymore. Where the fuck is the Black Sky Eye? Is it a consumable? Oh, it is. Can't use it, though. Uh, cool. Well, I guess it has to do with Arcane, which I can't do. So, forget that. I wonder if this works over here, too. It does. So, just so you guys know, 
I'm not gonna go there there yet because I can't come back. Um, that's how you get to El Brietes. Um, one of the optional bosses in this game. When you come down to beat the Lumen Flower boss here, uh, the same glass is here, and you do the same thing. You just shatter it, you go, and, uh, she's right there. Uh, you go in and you go down like a little elevator. Uh, but I don't want to go there quite yet, unless I have to. But I want to kind of look around first. Before I make any rash decisions. It looks like I have to go that way. Yep. So that's the way you have to go. But for anyone that's played this game and haven't beaten all the bosses, that's where one of the optional bosses is. El Brietes. Very, very hard. Incredibly, incredibly hard. Definitely not an easy boss. Oh, should read that stuff. Time for charging forth. Cool, a treasure chest. Oh, I see. I'm not very good at this. <sighs> oh, serious? Serious? Poo! <sighs> so now we gotta go all the way back up. Or back down or whatever. Do I have to continuously... Okay, good. I don't want to have to continuously stick a pendant in the dead guy's eye. So we'll head back to the balcony. I guess it wasn't that far. Wasn't that far. Beat all the, the enemies, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, I gotta practice that though. I'm not very good at the jumping. Um, right here. Like, is there a lamp here that I'm missing, maybe? Guess not. I guess this is just kind of an optional area, too. You don't have to go here. That's what I'm assuming. Well, let's go this way first. See what's on this side. Oh, ah! No, get back here. More bloodstone chunks. Just want to check what's on this side before I go over. Because I, nah. I don't think there's anything over here. So I guess it was all for that treasure chest down here. So it was really... They're really optional, but I would like to get this. Come on. Yes. Oh, unknown thing. Nice. Another gem. But that bracket, five. Does that mean I have five already? And that would be pretty, pretty useless. What? Lawrence's skull. Wait a s Oh, that was underneath. Super sneaky. Super, super sneaky. Well, what is that? Lawrence, there it is. Skull of Lawrence, first vicar of the healing church. In reality, he became the first cleric beast and his human skull it only exists within the nightmare. The skull is a symbol of Lawrence's past and what he failed to protect. He destined to seek his skull, but even if he found it, could never restore his memories. 
All right, so let's start this up. Uh -huh oh, I see. All right, so I guess this means boss time. We've got 10 minutes to destroy this boss and it's gonna happen. It's not gonna be another Ludwig. And I've already killed all the enemies going up here, so it should be easy peasy. I just gotta remember how to get there. I think it was only the one elevator I have to take. And then go up these set of stairs. Yes, I think that's correct. And then the door is right here. I can't wait. Can't wait to get slaughtered by Maria. Um. Maybe get a. Maybe bolt paper. Let's get the bolt paper ready. Hello. Wait a second. Is this even the boss? I don't even think those are the bosses. Oh, they are. Really? Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Okay, get closer. Holy shit, holy shit. Oh, maybe there's only the one. Nope, that's not true. I thought it was like... Jesus. Holy shit! Whoa! Whoa! Interesting. Didn't seem too hard. All right, while this loads, let me uh, get my dog. Keeps her from whining. She's a whiny dog when she wants to go out. All right, let's try this again. That, I don't know, that didn't seem too difficult. I think that's, uh, this is possible. Maybe I should use fire paper. 
I have a lot of them, so. Maybe, uh, uh, oops. Maybe we'll use a pellet and some fire paper, see if that speeds up some of the kills. Maybe even just run for it and, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not even dealing with the church guy. All right, let's try this. Let's just run for them. Ooh. Shit at me. Okay. That's not a good idea. So beat them fast. Good one too. Shit. See. Fuck. These guys are strong. Shoot. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, stuck, stuck. Fuck! Ugh. Okay, well, the, the fire paper did nothing. Man, maybe you should think about the Kirkham or Holy Blade or something like that. I almost need something strong but fast. I don't know. Maybe use beast pellet next time. Well, let's get out the... Which one is it? The Kirk Hammer? Let's see how fast it is. Yeah, it's a bit faster. Let's test it out. Yeah, it's faster. And it is pretty strong. Well, there's only one way to find out. Maybe bolt paper's better. I don't know. It's almost like a combination of something. There's got to be some sort of weakness. i got to figure it out. Fuck, throw some Molotovs at him. Well, don't want to deal with you. Ugh. Let's try this all. Okay. A little better, so maybe the bolt maybe it's the bolt paper. Well, that's definitely working a lot better. Shit. Stop that. No, stop that.
Fuck, I miss them every time. Not bad, not bad. Shit, I think I gotta run now. Oh my god, I lasted. Shit, gotta run. Gotta run. Okay, okay. I, I'm so close. I am so close to this. I can fucking feel it. Slaughtered. Fuck you. Woo. Woo. Oh, that wasn't that bad, but that wasn't the real boss because that was not Maria. But the heart is pumping. The heart is. Oh, did I not get my blood echoes the second time? Oh, shite. Oh, well. So happy. Um. Yeah, might as well. I like the Kirk Hammer now. I might start using the Kirk Hammer because now it's as powerful as uh, Hunter's Axe, but a lot quicker. You can get a little bit more, um, a little bit more blows in there. Maybe I can up my endurance a little bit, and I'll be set. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And I do have a lot of cold blood dews and stuff like that, so maybe I can uh, do some upgrading. Yeah, I got like a 210. I don't know if that's enough, though. 16,000. I might have to do a quick farm. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a really, really quick farm. Let's head up here. Mergo's middle. And we'll do a... Uh, get a couple thou. Upgrade. Maybe do... Well, I want to hit 50 strength. I don't need 50 strength. So let's, uh, let's maybe up the endurance and stuff like that. And maybe... Um, maybe I can do a little bit better. He's so much faster. Oh, you're live. All right. How's the... Uh... Okay, cool. It's got a good attack, too. I need that jump attack. Yeah, it's just as powerful as the axe, which is good. Not giving you a chance. Um, it's cutting it close, so let's go kill this guy and maybe the piggy. Do some... Give him a cola colonoscopy. Come on. There we go. Ah, don't care about quicksilver bullets. Alright, let's go give this pig a colonoscopy. He needs it. He looks like he's about 50. I'm gonna take it, take it nice and easy. Don't want him to see me. It's better if I just surprise him. Oh, I gave him a sword colonoscopy as well as a fist colonoscopy. Oh, he's still alive. What the balls? Nice. All right, I think that should be enough. Let's head back down. This 
pretty much feels like this DLC kind of feels like the beginning of Bloodborne. I'm very embarrassed to say that the Cleric Beast, even though it was an optional boss, I didn't know that. Um, the Cleric Beast took me around six hours to beat. Like, that included getting to the Cleric Beast. And I know that wasn't very far, but six hours to get past the Cleric Beast. But after that, I felt like it got easier because by the time you figure out how to beat the Cleric Beast, you get used to Bloodborne's controls and timings and all that stuff, and then you it starts getting easier after that. And so far, this is kind of what it's feeling like. Ludwig was brutal, like so brutal that made me want to cry. But yeah, let's do the stamina. But it seems like it's getting a tiny bit easier, so it's maybe that's some good news. Farewell, good. All right, well that's it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and we will see you next episode.